The vision board party was so much fun. I met so many amazing and new people. I was with Miss Alicia at the beginning. She is the owner of You Follow Wellness. Now it's January 4th, the new year, and I'm in the hospital. I found out I had a hernia, sadly. And then two days later, both of my yeah, my Tories got bronchitis, my son and his dad. So not the best way to spend the New Year's, but we're going to get it together. Everything going to work out for us good. And I'm sorry that I'm doing voiceovers, but there's pieces that I didn't really vlog like that. Because a lot's been going on, obviously. Hey, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And y'all, it's... 2024 the first vlog of 2024 you guys i am so excited and y'all i got a huge update and huge news for you guys i am doing um my first deceased client today like i was like i was skeptical about doing it at first i was like i was a little scared hold on yeah, like I said, I was a little scared at first when I was first presented the opportunity to do it. But after some talking to um, my family and everything and my boyfriend, I was like, it's a per it's a great opportunity, you know, to branch out and do something new. And, you know, and, you know, Montreal um, cosmetology is like you can make a lot of money doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people really don't, you know, don't want to do that. So it's a perfect opportunity. And I'm not gonna like take no pictures or anything with about her, like you know, with her or whatever. But I'm doing like a mini vlog of me, you know, getting ready for it and stuff like that. I'm getting my ring light from the shop right now, and I'm about to be on the way over there, y'all. <sighs> Let's get with it. It's 2024, and also this is gonna be my first face of the new year. So you never know. What if um they really like my work and everything? They might hire me at the funeral home to do people's makeup. You know, you never know. But I'm gonna um, talk to y'all when I get to the site. So you guys, I am here at the um, funeral home. Um, I just got here. And I saw my dad and my mom and grandpa ride by because you know down this way, this is where you go to go to um to um, Columbus and my parents they 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 be uh taking my granddad to his, taking him to um his um, doctor's appointment. He got a doctor's appointment. He got to have surgery and everything. And I just saw them, so I had to pause real quick and say hey and call. But I'm excited, nervous. Tiny bit scared, but um, I'm gonna be all right. God got me, and I'm excited. And y'all, do y'all see my face is breaking out? Like, but I'm I am on my time of the month. Okay, at first I was like, I am using you know that new skin stuff I got from TikTok, but my skin was doing perfectly fine until my time of the month came on. So I'm gonna see. Like, I'm gonna keep you know doing that, using that stuff on my skin, and I'm gonna see how it go. Like two weeks after my top, my period or whatever, but if I, these bones still up on here, uh, girl, we about to stop using that, cause um, and it's like all right here and like this. Wait, where is that? Over here, like, girl, all these bones. But we gonna get it together. And today I'm doing some content. Finally, like I have like, like I've been kind of in a rut. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I've been like with social media in general other than youtube like youtube is the only thing i really been trying to stay consistent with because i've been seeing you know progress and growth within my youtube channel but like i done came to the realization i done sat down with my family and my boyfriend we've been talking and like i gotta st i gotta stop looking at the numbers and the views and everything like i love making content but like towards the end of last year i just started getting in my head and mostly worrying about oh my tiktok because like, i ain't gonna lie a lot of my my, my tiktoks last year I didn't even get a hundred thousand views on any video. Like I didn't even get fifty thousand views on any video. Like I really, like I had low views last year, and it really, like 
discourage me from like making content on TikTok. I'm like, people ain't seeing it for real. What's the point of me posting and this, that, and the third? But at the same time, I'm still getting hundreds and thousands of views, like views still. You know what I'm saying? And then I have people that been supporting me since day one. They still, you know, be liking and commenting my stuff. So I gotta stop looking at the like the big numbers, cause like when you think about it. Imagine me singing in front of 600 people. That's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta take the small wins just as, you know, as just as well as the good wins and stuff. And uh, I'ma um, I'm stop looking at the numbers, especially on Instagram. Cause Instagram, yes, last year, I didn't grow at all. I actually lost like 400 followers, I think, on Instagram. And I actually stopped really posting picture posts because those weren't really getting no no likes and stuff they was getting like under 100 likes and everything but my reels my reels was doing real good but i ain't really generate any following like a following from that and it was really discouraging because i started getting you know the views and stuff like i've been wanting on my reels but the people ain't following they watching but they ain't following you know what i'm saying and i just gotta stop like this year is the year of me not caring what the numbers look like 2024 i don't care what the numbers look like i'm gonna create my content i'm gonna do what i need to do because i love doing it and i love like i, I love making content i really do and i love dressing up because it makes me feel like a, I'm, I'm a big kid i love playing dress up you know what i'm saying and i have people that support me down and they still be watching so i gotta do it for the people that's still there you know what i'm saying and i'm about to go ahead and go inside or see i'm about to see if i can go ahead and go inside because they open up at nine and it's 8 51 so I'm gonna see if they'll go ahead and let me up in there. Wish me luck, y'all. So you guys, I'm back in the car. Um, I don't think they're gonna open the doors till nine, cause I knocked and ain't nobody come to the door. So, okay. <clears throat> but um, we're gonna get into it. Um, like I said, I'm really excited, and I think somebody else coming. So let me stop. Uh. So y'all, it turns out that the funeral is next Friday. So. I did all this for no reason. It's next Friday. I thought it was this Friday. I look back on the mess I look back on the messages and I was like, oh, it is next week. Shoot. I was just I was too eager. I was too eager, I guess. And I didn't read it all the way. Cause the dude came out, he was like, um, that's for next week. And I was like, oh, okay. My bad. But I am about to do some makeup at 12, but before that, I'm about to straighten up the house so cook some breakfast get ready to do content go do makeup do my makeup then do content mm -hmm. hey you guys so i am done with doing content my boyfriend on the game and i'm just you know just chilling drinking some little wine i'm about to watch all the queens men soon with my sister when she come back we'll be drinking a little wine it's just this little wine i got from um it's almost gone from family dollar real quick because they ain't have much to choose from so i just got there I, I got another flavor of that same price called sweet red and it's real good but i had a good content day i'm happy i got my youtube i got a youtube video done um a tiktok no nah, two tiktoks done and some pictures so it's a good content day and tomorrow i'm gonna try to do some editing and everything so I can have my video out for tomorrow. And also, I have a birthday party to go to to me a Wilborn. I'm going to her daughter's second birthday party with my babies over there at um, Birkin. And we're excited because we went last year, pictures over here. And it was real fun. We had a nice time. And her daughter had fun. And it was just nice to see all the kids play and stuff. But I'm about to just chill, and I might do some content later, but I don't know, because my face still looks good, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll see y'all later. And I'm mad, because my swoop, it moves. Like, y'all, it's supposed to be, like, down more. But the more it dried, it just kind of shriveled up a little bit, but it's okay. Still cute. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. And today yeah. is January 13th. Yeah. Um... Me and the kids are going to my friends, Tamia, her Dave, Tamia too. We're going to her daughter's birthday party today, and we're about to have some fun. It's here at Burger King, so let's go. Say hey to the vlog. Look, you want to do all that to the vlog? You see how she acting, y'all? She acting crazy. Come and get it. Come and get it. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harry. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Yay! All right, you guys. So I am back over here at um, Franklin's funeral home. It's the following Friday, because y'all already know. Last week when I came, I didn't post that cake, but it's okay. Um, I'm excited, nervous, and ready all at the same time. Look at that good light. Ooh, just a little light, you know. But I'm very excited. Um, I'm just waiting on it to open. I'm here like 15 minutes early, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started as soon as they let me in. I'm about to get my mask and everything. And y'all, I didn't look. It's a jacket. I got a different shirt underneath. I don't want y'all be like, um, you wearing the same clothes as down the third. I'm wearing all black because y'all know you wear black, so the spirits won't try to. Get, you never know. You never know. So I'm wearing all black or whatever. Um, but I'm about to get up in there in a minute and. Go and then today, um, uh, I'm filming a couple of episodes for my podcast because y'all already know if you be on the vlogs, you know all the tea before you know I make videos and everything. So, me and my sister, we ain't filming yet, but I am gonna be filming. I'm having like a segment just for me, um, it's gonna be called um, Having a Time with Cumia. And it's just gonna be me talking to you guys and you know, doing it just with me or whatever. You know, just having a moment, a little time with you guys, with just me. Cause my podcast is gonna be me and my sister. But, um, you know, she don't live down here no more. So we gotta schedule it and everything. But I'm ready and I will see y'all. Well, I'll talk to y'all when I get done. I started filming some of my having a time with Mia segment for my podcast now. Hey you guys, so I am doing a content day, but it was kind of a different content day. I was filming some episodes for, you know, my Hello um, Gorgeous podcast, but it's like a segment with me. It's called Having a Time with Mia, so I filmed my part. I'm picking up my daughter now, and let's get with it. Hey you guys, I'm on my way to work. I forgot the day's date, but I know it's starting today, and I love you guys. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here at the hospital. I am here for my pre-op. Cause you already know before your operations, you gotta have a pre-op where I'll pick work, blood work, all that good stuff. Make sure you set sail for surgery. And today is February 2nd. I know this vlog is all over the place, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm getting back into the vlog and stuff. This year has started off so weird you know starting off the year in the hospital gotta do all this stuff or whatever but my surgery is on the 9th and i'm up here and let me go ahead i gotta go to the second floor so i'll talk to y'all when i get in the elevator all right you guys i'm now in the elevator headed to floor two gonna get these pre-ops going all right you guys so i'm done with my pre-op stuff my i have to be up here by 6 30 in the morning that's pretty early but it's all right for my operation Oh yeah, you guys, um, so after I left the doctor's office that y'all saw the other day, um, y'all know my friend that I kind of fell off with or whatever that used to be on my vlogs. Y'all go back to like my April and March vlogs, y'all see who I'm talking about. But girl, tell me why. Like I had like my keys in the car, so my dad had to help me, you know, get my keys out the car and everything. And guess who I see? Her, her family rolling through there. There was like, only one part available that was right by my dad's car. And guess what they did? They didn't park right there. They had parked all the way in the back by the middle, the hospital sign. I'm like, oh, you scary. People love talking about other people is scary, but you the one who be avoiding folks in public. But yeah, like she's just scary. Cause my thing is like, you want to call call people scary and stuff like that. But when you see them in public and stuff, you want to hide, avoid and all that good stuff. But I just had to put that on there cause it was so ironic. Cause prior to that day, she had, she was talking just to one of my friends and telling my pregnant friend that she could choke while pregnant yeah. and stuff like that because her yeah. son pushed her daughter on the school bus. And my friend got mad and told her if he if her son put her hands on my friend daughter again, tell him, like to push him and punch him back. And my thing is, 
get a, get a hold of your child. Stop fussing with the parents when your child is doing something wrong. Your child is hitting other kids. Why are you fussing at the parents for telling their kid to hit your kid back when you need to talk to your kid about keeping their hands to themselves? So you guys, update, update. Me and my boyfriend took Valentine's Day pictures the other day, and it was so cute. And then... Uh, we had went to a hotel, you know, we asked them permission and everything and it was like, okay, that's fine She was like, I ain't never had nobody ask me to do content and stuff like that in the building But you can go ahead girl and I was like I know a lot of people don't do that around here <laughs> But I just wanted to ask permission, you know before we went and a little bit after this video I'm gonna show some clips. Hold on. I'm gonna show the clips of just a few for a Valentine's Day sneak peek of what we did but yeah, y'all saw that? We dressed down. It was so cute. I love the outfits. And my baby had the fur on. Yes. But um, uh, today is Wednesday, February 7th. Yeah, it's the 7th because I have my surgery this Friday, which is the 9th. It's at um, 6.30. And um, 6.30 in the morning, can't eat nothing after 12. I'm not going to drink no sodas. I ain't been drinking no alcohol or nothing um, while I've been, you know, this week. So I can be prepared for it. They said I just I just needed to um, not drink and stuff the night before. But I'm like, no, nah, I'm doing a whole week. Because y'all about to be, we're well, not cutting on me, but y'all about to be doing surgery and all that stuff. But, um, but that's going to end this vlog right here. Just a little mini vlog of what's been going on and everything. And, yeah, I will see y'all later in our next video. Y'all tune in for next week on the 14th. We are dropping the Hello Gorgeous podcast on YouTube and Spotify. I'm trying to get it on, that's my, um, that's Tori's game. But I'm trying to get it on the podcast app. I'm going to get that worked out or whatever. But for now, it's on Spotify and on YouTube. I love you guys so much and stay tuned.